What if you are a fan of the Sony PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, or the Nintendo Switch, but you're not the biggest fan of those controllers? Well, thankfully, the team over at Brook Gaming have a solution for you. This is the Wingman Converter, and this is specifically the XE2. And what this allows you to do is, by the USB, it allows you to plug into those systems, either the PS4, PS4 Pro, PS4 Slim, or the Nintendo Switch, and then use pretty much any Bluetooth-style controller with those systems. So, for example, let's say that you wanted to use an Xbox Series X controller on your Nintendo Switch. This promises to let you do it. So let's go ahead, let's take a look at how this comes out of the box, see how easy it is set up, and let's get to some gameplay. All right, so starting out here, I mean, this is a pretty simple, straightforward, small, teeny, teeny, tiny box. Uh, Wingman converter for the uh, PlayStation 5 wireless does feature turbo functionality. Uh, basically, will go for the PS4, PS3, and the Switch from the Xbox Series S and X, Xbox One, 360, Elite, Switch Pro, PS4, PS5, PS3 to the PS4, PS3, and the Switch. Now, one thing I will say is the product info, you see this little QR code back there, there's not going to be an instruction manual in the box, which is something that I wish that Brooke would update, but I, I understand it's a way to keep costs down. So take a look inside the box. Pretty simple and straightforward. Here is the USB dongle right here. And then it does have, uh, these are buttons on the side that you push to actually do the pairing. So as you can see, pretty small, uh, you know, kind of larger than a thumb drive, but not too big overall. These buttons here do have LEDs in that will light up when you connect to your system. You can go ahead and pair either via the USB cable here or by holding down these buttons there as well. Let's take a look inside the little cardboard dealio here. You've got some Brook Gaming decals and do we have a quick start guide? Hey, we have something here. Oh! They included an instruction slip sheet. I'm very happy about that. USB port can be used to connect to the PS4, PS3, Switch, or PC. And then you do have the LED buttons on the side. Uh, simply connect the wired uh, controller to the back side here to be able to go ahead and uh, play via wire too. So very, very cool. So overall, this is very similar to their other Wingman type adapter. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hook this up and see how it works. So we've got everything set up and paired. All that we had to do was we connected the dongle to our Switch dock, held down the pairing buttons, and then held down the pairing button here on our Xbox control. Ugh. All right, but as you can see here, we're able to navigate through everything. Uh, everything is working just fine. Helps if I unmute the capture card here as well. We're going to dive into some Tanuki Justice. This is, if you love Master System games, Genesis games, this is a game you absolutely need to play. We're going to go back to level one because, well, I suck at it, so. Oof. It has been a while since I have played. Um, button presses and everything are going great. And I can do the diagonal shuriken throw. Yeah, buddy. Oof. No, buddy. <laughs> you died. Let's see here. The Xbox button does take us back to the home screen menu. One of the games that I always use to test out the performance of a controller or an adapter is Street Fighter 2. So let's go ahead and let's dive into this. We're going against DJ in Jamaica. Got him there. Absolutely able to pull off all the moves, which is awesome. This is playing fantastic. Oof. But he got me there at the end. Did you see that? That rapid punch? Dang. All right, DJ. So you're not playing around. Wow. Ever wonder if DJ is going to lose his Jamaican accent, kind of like Kofi Kingston. Wow, he got me. Okay. All right, DJ. I see what you're up to there. Up next, we have paired a DualSense 5 controller. And this is weird. Um, okay, we're actually going to go back into Street Fighter and just see how this plays. Now, for me... Typically, I'll play fighting games with the analog stick just because of its position. It's more comfortable. With me on the um, PlayStation controller, with the position of the D-pad, the D-pad is actually more comfortable for me. Oof. 
Come on, you. Oh, he got me. Um, D-pad was working well there. I was able to pull off all the moves. He just kicked my ass. Got him there. All right, come on. Wow. And the PlayStation button does work to go home just like the Xbox did. Uh, let's try to not have to deal with the software update, but we've got uh, TMNT, the Kawabunga collection. We're going to go ahead and test out here in a second. We're going to play a little bit of Turtles in Time here because it is vastly superior to Hyperstone Heist. Again, for this, I'm going to start out using the D-pad, and then we'll switch to the analog stick. Button presses are good. I love that move so much. We're going to move to the analog stick now, and as expected, that feels nice and smooth. Rumble, by the way, you know, is one of the things, too, that I don't know that I mentioned necessarily with the Xbox controller, but through both of them, you know, it's exactly what you would expect. Uh, it works great. Take that. TMNT working fantastically. Let's check out some of the older, like, the NES games and whatnot. So let's dive into the uh, NES Switch Online collection. Play a little bit of Gradius. And, of course, we're going to do... Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. Just because we can. Yeah, this again, and I'm using the D-pad here. This works great. This is terrific. Um, yeah, I mean, I would say if you are, if you are not a fan of the Switch Pro Controller or would rather have, um, you know, a less expensive option, this is definitely something worth checking out. This is great. And at least for me, I would say I actually think the D-pad is a little bit better on the DualShock or the DualSense controller than on the Switch Pro controller. Yeah, and then that works fine for getting back to the main menu. That was just the L2, R2. One game I do want to try out is I want to try out Horizon Chase Turbo uh, because I want to see if the triggers will work as analog sticks here. So Horizon Chase Turbo is legit one of my favorite arcade-style racers to come out in the last 10 years. This is... It's bright, it's colorful, it's fun, it's so good. So it does not read the R2 as an analog input. It only reads it as a digital input. But just like that, we are up to the front of the pack. This is, I mean, just if you look at it, like it's got some oddball polygon graphics to it, whatnot, but it's just, I think this is a beautiful looking game. If you love like OutRun and such, definitely check out Horizon Chase Turbo. Now, one thing too on this adapter here is the fact that it's not only compatible with the Switch, but the PS4 and the PS3. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to actually go ahead and connect this up to our PlayStation 3. I want to check and see how a DualShock controller works on, or DualSense controller, DualShock is what came with, dummy, uh, but how well a DualSense controller works on the PlayStation 3. So a few things of note here is it will not wake the system from sleep, just to know on there, but we do have a DualSense controller working around on a PS3 that is flipping awesome so we are going to dive into ratchet and clank quest for booty it has been far too long since i've played this um everything is working great this is fantastic i mean yeah this is great everything is working exactly as it should and what's great too the rumble again the rumble is fantastic on here i am super super digging this but we've got bolts bolts and more bolts all right the PlayStation button takes us back to that menu exactly as it should. Love, love, love that. I don't know about you, but sometimes life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, airplanes. It's a duck blur. So we're going to dive into DuckTales Remastered real quick. This is fantastic. 
Oh my goodness, this is so good! Now, part of it for me is I absolutely do love the DualSense controller. I think that it is one of the best controllers to come out in the last several generations. I think it's comfortable, it's well balanced. Um, it's got iffy battery life, that's the one thing. Um, but overall, this is just a fantastic controller and the fact that I can use it now with the PS3, the PS4, with the Switch, fantastic. And I love the fact too that they've got the original voice actors on this. Here we go. I love the... This is such a beautiful game. How can you not love this game? It's so good. Got him. Got that beagle boy. Yeah, this is working wonderfully. I couldn't ask for anything more out of this. This is terrific. All right, let's go to home. We're going to finish off on one game that you probably didn't even know existed. That's right. They made a Voltron game, and it was available on the PlayStation 3. Let's see the last time I played it. It's been forever, I'm sure. So we're going to start. Which line do we want? Well, we got to be Keith. I mean, don't you have to be Keith? And this is set after the original series, not the kind of crappy redo on Netflix. Not a fan. Let me know down in the comments. Did you like the Voltron that was on Netflix? I, I didn't. I just... Like, I think I watched the first three seasons, and I was out after that. I just, no, I was good. Graphically, this reminds me a lot of, like, Transformers Devastation. And it's the original voice actors, too, which is great. And then with this, basically, as you can see, you, you move with the left stick and you shoot with the right. As you are battling the forces of Zarkon. Got him. Yeah, if you love shooters, I would say this is definitely one that, you know, I don't know that you can find anywhere anymore, but if you had it, this was a great game. Basically, think of it almost like um, Smash TV, but in the Voltron universe. You have to get up there somehow. So, what do I think of the Wingman XE2? I think it is XE Lent. Ah, uh, ah, uh, see what I did there? Excellent. Oh, come on. It was funny. Um, it just works, and that's really all that it needed to do was just work, and it absolutely does that. Um, you know, it has easy way to pair to your system or to your controllers. Um, it's just a simple USB connection, which is terrific. Um, it, it has all the included features of your controller are here. You have rumble and you have you know things along those you have the quality that you would want out of you know a regular you know a playstation 5 controller or an xbox series s or x controller um and you can use it now on multiple systems which is terrific um you know i like the fact too that they're now including at least a a quick start guide that has definitely been one of my criticisms for Brook Gaming is the fact that to do any kind of instruction manual, they've always just had that on their website, and you have to go ahead and download a PDF. Well, at least give me a quick start guide, which they are now doing. I appreciate that that they're that they're evolving a little bit to include that. Um, you know, I understand that their goal is to try to be you know as environmentally friendly as possible, but you know, a little slip sheet like what they included here isn't going to you know absolutely destroy the environment so um, I applaud them for doing that I, the rumble feedback that I'm getting on this right now going through here feels terrific um, I'm not feeling any lag delay or latency um, it just works and that's the beautiful thing about these types of adapters is the fact that they give you so many different options now to utilize with your system that you don't have to you know, be just locked into an OEM controller. Um, oh, was I stuck? I was stuck for a second. 
Uh, but, I mean, overall, this is something that if you want to pick up for yourself, I will have links down below to a pinned comment or in a pinned comment where you can go ahead and pick it up through our Amazon affiliate store. Now, you know, these aren't super expensive, but they're not super cheap either. I think they're pretty reasonably priced for what they are. And I do want to thank Brook Gaming for sending us one of these as I try to go ahead and kill this main guy. Come on, dude. Got to be able to get him. Got that one there, too. Got it. There we go. We completed the level here. Now, I will say, I personally, I like the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. I think it works well. It's well balanced. It's a little bit pricey for what it is. So that's where something like this comes in handy, especially if you have, you know, if you do have an Xbox One or Series system or a PS4, PS5 controller in your house where you can use, you know, a DualSense controller. You can use an Xbox One or an Xbox Series S controller. You can use a DualShock 4 controller and you can go ahead and have a player two player three or player three player four if you have people come over and you need more controllers to go ahead and support gameplay on something unlike that you know this is reasonably priced it works well it really does work well low latency good responsiveness this is probably too i will say the easiest one of these dongles that brook gaming has come out with to pair other ones I've had to go ahead and physically connect a USB connector. Not so with the uh, XE2. I've gone ahead and been able to go ahead, hit the pairing button on the dongle, hit the pairing button or initiate pairing, like on the PlayStation 5 controller to initiate Bluetooth pairing. You hold down the share button and the PlayStation button to go ahead and pair to a USB dongle. Works great first time every time now it will not wake your system from sleep so that is important to note regardless if we're talking about a playstation or the nintendo switch you do still have to physically turn those systems on but above and beyond that this works great now one other minor thing on the switch this isn't going to give you amiibo support i'm thinking if you're going this route you probably don't care about amiibo support though and like i mentioned if you want to pick one of these up i will have a link down below in a pinned comment where you can go ahead and pick this up through our amazon affiliate link now we've also reviewed a number of these different dongles from brook gaming and if you want to check those out i'll have those linked in a playlist right here for you that you can go ahead and watch right now after this video